Good morning, I'm Brooke Hapes. The Wisconsin Supreme Court has struck down the Safer at Home order, ruling it unlawful, invalid, and unenforceable. The decision is effective immediately. It essentially reopens the state, lifting limits on gathering sizes, allowing people to travel, and allowing businesses to reopen, including bars and restaurants. Brown County and other local governments have issued their own restrictions. The Supreme Court did not strike down the part of the order that closes schools. The Brown County Public Health Officer has issued a new stay-at-home order for the county, saying it will extend until May 20th. This new order took, took effect immediately and applies to individuals and entities in Brown County. It also states that violators could face a $500 fine. It will allow five people in all standalone stores or strip mall stores. Okay, we're starting with a few scattered showers, but things actually improved today. Uh, there's the afternoon. This afternoon and evening, there's still going to be a small chance of a sprinkle or a stray shower. Now, what I'm trying to tell you are things are going to get better and better as the hours tick by today. There is tonight that small chance of rain and watch tomorrow. Looking sunnier for us. Wait till you see tomorrow's temperature. Today's is better. 65. These scattered showers kind of tapering off. They become less numerous. As far as tonight, just a small chance of a few raindrops. Otherwise, most of your night quiet in 48. And how about tomorrow? 70. Maybe a little lake breeze kicks in and cools us down uh, by the lake in the afternoon. The pick day of the weekend. It's going to be Saturday. And then rain gets here Saturday night. Maybe a rumble of thunder into Sunday. Sunday does not look nice. Windy in 56. But it gets better next week. 60s and 70s back on the way. And you can watch the radar when those uh, showers move out on our news app. It's free in your app store.